Hey guys, how's it going? It's Delmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to add another video to the Unity C Sharp Fundamentals course and I'm going to talk about single line comments and multi-line comments and also regions and how we can actually use them. So if you haven't used C Sharp at all before, to do a single line comment, all you have to do is basically do two four slashes for single line comments. You can also do forward slash a star for multi-line comments. And I can actually hit enter and say something else goes here. And I can keep doing that. So we can do single line comments. So why would you use comments? And it's, it's common practice to use comments when you're when you're writing code and you want to basically let, let other developers know what your intent is of what you actually try to write. And for instance, I could say that this is, this is a setter for the Xbox One Live ID. I could also go in here and let's say that I wanted to add more comments. I could say, this is a getter. And we can also do multi-line comments right in that area. And I can say, end it with star and forward slash. Something else goes here. A lot of times you'll see like people put, will put the return type and basically they'll, they'll define what the method arguments are. And then if it returns in a specific object, you can actually tell in the comments what it actually does. And then what IntelliSense will do is would actually provide that information for anybody that is using that class. So for our demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna show you, you know, how comments are used. And you can also do comments inside a method. So if I wanna say, okay, this is incrementing the new score. You can also add some pseudocode if you wanted to. And you can say this sh should have a max, 100 points for instance, if you wanted to. So the other thing that I can do, it's let's say that I wanted to do, you know, something in the future. It's very common to do what is called a to-do. And then I can say in the future, uh, let's make sure that we also, let's make sure to add a decrementer for a score. And what's gonna happen is the to-do will let anybody that it's gonna touch his code knows, know that there is a task to be made, which is basically to create a new method. So that's basically comments. So for single line comments, two forward slashes, for multi-line comments, forward slash star, and you end up with a star and a forward slash. So the other thing that I also try to do a lot in, in my games is I try to do regions, especially when things get out of control and you have a lot of code or maybe you have a lot of variables. So one thing that I like to do is I do region and I can say private instance, instance variables, and I can say I can end the region. And What's cool about this is that I can actually collapse those areas. So let's say that I only want to see, you know, if I'm if I'm the first person to look at this, I I might not want to see all the private instance variables. I can have it, you know, collapse. I can also say, okay, this is my properties, and I can end it with pound and region. So you open it with pound region, you close it with pound in region and it automatically it's going to add uh, expand and collapse so I'm going to collapse it and then the same thing with the constructor if we had multiple constructors this will make more sense so I'm going to add another constructor so that you know constructor and in region and this is not going to affect how your code runs it's just for information purposes it's what's called metadata so for organization, and what I'll do here, I'll just create another constructor. And in this case, I'll just say, you know, I'm just gonna allow player. 
and we don't need to pass in anything. And we can just collapse the constructors. And I have a few methods in here, I have three methods, so I can say region methods. And I can go to the very end where I want the region to end and say in region. And I can go here and say methods. And let me just collapse that one more time. Perfect. And I'm going to actually move this and just put it right above the class so that you can see how that is defined. And that's basically how you create a region. So if I want to expand that region, let's say that I want to look at the private instance variables, you can do that. Let's say that I want to look at the constructors, you can do that. So the cool thing about it is it keeps the code very organized. So I know that all my private instance variables are at the top. I know that I have my, these are all the properties. I don't need to look at private instance variables and also properties. I can just look at properties independent, independently of the private instance variables, or I can do the same thing with constructors. So that's really all I wanted to show you in this lesson. If you guys have any questions about comments or regions, let me know through the comments and don't forget to share and subscribe this video. Thank you guys.